Bonjour, I'm Antoine. Today on interview, Olga, DJ New York City. Let's go meet her. Good to, to see, see you. you. Yeah, thank you very much for coming and taking the time. Okay. Sure. All right. So, all right. Let's dive in. So, uh, let's start by uh, telling us, you know, who you are, uh, where you're from, and how um, long you've been living in New York. I came to New York as a model primarily, uh -huh. and I'm from Latvia. Okay. And I've been here. It's already 11 years. It's been a you've while. Been 11 years. Yes. Yeah. No That's while. good. So you. You're a New Yorker. Yes, I'm, I'm a New Yorker, yeah. <laughs> so you started as a... Oh, Norman made a stop, okay. <laughs> um, so you, st you started uh, as a model, and how long have you been um, DJing now? It's been like a few years. Yeah? Yeah, I literally, when I came as a model, I've been kind of like diving into Light Night Live and been yes. going out as a model and uh -huh. been, you know, like with all this promoter. It's very like image oriented industry yes. here. Yes. So uh -huh. it was super like everyone wanted to be have models. And then I been in the scene for a while yes. until I decided to become a DJ. Yeah. Yeah, because I've just been all the top parties, bigger. Yeah, yeah events and uh -huh. you know being behind the dj booth like <laughs> like all like it's like a vip you know like a yeah thing i, I here. understand like, yeah. yeah yeah so what was it uh but in somehow was it kind of a so it was not really a, a passion of yours being a dj were you always yeah interested? it's never it's never been like a passion but yeah i always were into music and i love the music yeah uh -huh. and and then i just like let me try it. Let me yes. see how it is, and uh -huh, uh -huh. how I like it, and I really like it. Yes. You know, when I played my first gig, I was like, "Wow, the happiness I gave to the people, <laughs> and it made me happy." And I was like, "Wow, that's is, this is amazing." You know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. When was your first gig, and uh, what was it, it was, like? It was the like the end of. I, th I believe the end of 2018. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was like a holiday party, and a friend of mine, he offered me to do it, and and it was like a love party, and yeah. like with the whole <laughs> Santa and like the live uh -huh. band. Playing. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. So that was and, big. It was and a people big party. wanted like dance. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was like around 100 people wow. or so. Yeah, yeah. Huh? It was pretty big, like a lot of people, uh -huh. and people who want to have fun and yeah. And when I played the first gig, I was like, wow, like people have so much fun, like and <laughs> dancing, and I was like, wow, I, yeah. I couldn't believe like I could make someone like happy like that, you know? Yes. So I kind of uh -huh. like dived in after yeah. that. Yeah. Uh huh. Is there a, a DJ that you uh, that you really learned from, or did you have at one point, you know, like I kind have, of a mentor? I have few mentors like yes. a few local DJs who helped me out and yeah. kind of brought me more to the scene and gave me some techniques you know like show me what it was what it was and what's safe yeah. and yeah so uh -huh. but I took primarily I took a DJ class like for three hours yeah and then I learned on my own and then I had a couple of people help mm -hmm. me out so it's mm -hmm. been pretty great yeah. oh that's cool that's yeah cool. it's, that's cool. it's that's great cool. to have like support and yes no mm, def definitely yeah. especially when you start a, a yes, brand new uh, yes. in a brand new industry yes. you know so uh you know <laughs> i remember uh 20 30 years ago yes mm -hmm. i'm not that young anymore but uh, <laughs> uh yeah. you know there were not that many uh women uh djing at the time uh, yeah, is that still pre uh, is that still valid or is it more like well, a 50 50 it's nowadays? becoming well it's still mostly male dominant yeah. industry and like most male djs are out there yeah but there's more women coming out and it's becoming easier because technology is more digital yes and you don't need to carry yeah. big, huge records <laughs> like with yeah, you, i remember like, that yeah those yeah, stunt yeah, tables yeah, yeah. and I, I have some couple oh of friends God. they're very they're like old school they've been in the in DJing for years, like 10 years, you know, yeah. 20 years, uh -huh. and they're telling stories, and I'm like, I'm, I'm just amazed. I was like, wow, 
<laughs> because like obviously now it's easier to be a female DJ and no, especially is, yes. in New York yeah. because I said earlier that it's very image based like Warren said the whole yes. like night life yes. I don't know like mm -hmm. I don't know if you have you seen there's like a few like female DJs it's just for like kind of like outside look of it like for example Paris Hilton like some you know like celebrities yeah she probably uh, <laughs> not that good DJ but people want to see you know someone else it's yeah, very yeah, yeah. important now yeah 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 in regards to the nightlife in New York uh, how mm -hmm. would you describe uh, New Yorkers when it comes down to clubbing and their music taste mm, well if I would say New Yorkers because like people who live here and they're locals they yeah. they're very like selective like especially now it's not like back in the day back in the day like people just go to club and yeah. that's it like okay today is a good party yeah. now it's like who's gonna play where and who's doing uh, what parties I don't so, know it's so, very so. important there's a lot of also options out there yes uh -huh. and it's also the scene is a little divided into like commercial and more like house music house uh -huh. became like way bigger like deep house and there's yeah. all side genres uh -huh. and a lot of underground scene yeah. here like in brooklyn and yeah you know it's it's been happening and it's became way bigger now yeah so yeah and it's a lot of new york is always also a lot of tourists and a lot of tourists they also go you know usually it's a commercial scene yeah 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 yeah. yeah yeah so that uh, that comes next to, to my next question mm -hmm. yeah so do you have like a one of your uh, do you have a, like a favorite dj or is it more like um for you a uh, style that you like you know yeah uh, i mean in other words, me, you know, how me would you more, define your style for instance yeah for me it's more of a style and music which is i i don't do commercial i do more deep house but uh -huh. i also do different other events like a private gigs and yeah. like birthdays and art and fashion events and I play you know like old school music 80s disco dance oh, like, I like 80s. you know mix cool. mixture music. yeah yeah because <laughs> people still love it love it like you know like yeah. go back in time you know <laughs> yeah I mean for sure and but normally I I what I'm into is more like deep house like deep house, tribal okay. ethnic vibes yeah, yeah, yeah. like progressive a little like harder uh -huh. depends you know uh -huh. like can be mixed match oh you know what? why don't we sit down sure okay let's go sure. <laughs> <laughs> ah. okay so Olga what's what's the hardest part of um, of your work I believe it's the competition yeah. since there's so many DJs out there and a mm -hmm. lot of also new DJs and, yeah. and it's just it's yeah. and New York City is one of the most competitive cities as well so yes. it's uh -huh. quite tough yeah, yeah you gotta hustle it huh? can get you have to hustle of course <laughs> yes <laughs> hustle city I tell you that what is your greatest strength strength I suppose yeah. with DJing I suppose it's you know I have a good taste in music and I always since like teenage when I was teenager I always yeah. like uh, I loved when I come from school and I watch TV uh, like uh, like um, TV was like the, one of the channels I watched and, <laughs> and I knew every band I knew every oh, wow. single like yeah yeah top like top every music like top 40 top 20 like any yeah. like you know and it's grew into like I like there's a, been a lot of through the years a lot of artists a lot of bands I knew and I knew what's what's popular what's out there what's people listening yeah and when I came to New York I could see like it's been divided like like 11 years ago it's been divided into house music and hip-hop and there's also <laughs> was underground like yes. which I didn't knew that that world yeah but it's after years i've been you know i've been and now when i start djing i i have like i feel like i have a good sense of like kind of like time and space what to play yeah. what people like even the yeah. music from so, like to feel the crowd 80s and like yeah. you know it's i born in 90s but yeah it's you know uh -huh. 
to kind of like show what, what's out there and mm -hmm. and also because I'm a model like I get a lot I actually got I, I believe so I got a lot of bookings because <laughs> people just want to have like a pretty girl behind the DJ booth I had like I swear to god it was it's funny because oh, that's hysterical. I, I had it. some I yes, had no, some man. I had couple offerings and they literally yes. told me they're like oh we just want to like pretty girl and I'm like no 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 I want you to book me for my music, no, not for my looks, you know what I mean? Yes, so, exactly, yes. That's but, right. I mean, it's it's kind of funny. I mean, I don't know if it's a strength or it's just like a yes. silly thing, Got I don't it. know. Norman, you have something to say? Okay, Norman, <laughs> tell the last question. My last mm -hmm. question, uh, Olga. Uh, if you were a tool mm -hmm. or an object, yeah. um, to help you mm -hmm. in your in your career yeah. what would well, you be i probably would be most important object which yes. is like flash drive a flash drive since you know like now <laughs> the world is so digitalized and, yeah. and females can become a dj without carrying anything heavy yeah that's but true like, yeah i remember those days you can carry a little flash drive where you can have a lot of data a lot yeah. of music a lot of you know so probably would be that because you know if you're a dj that's the most important thing in your kit <laughs> okay a flash drive it is yeah <laughs> That's it, folks. That was Olga, DJ in New York. So remember, <laughs> uh, if you need a DJ for your party, somebody that knows how to read the crowd, she's it, okay? So guys, you know the drill. Uh, subscribe, share, comment, like. We need you all. <laughs> but in the meantime, it's... Selfie time. It's selfie time. Yeah, oh, okay, one, two, three. Ah!